Dragon. 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 And he just F's off. Nice Minecraft style castle. We've already confirmed where we are. Be really curious. Eat the fruit. Like the person who could least use the fruit out of all of us, and it's just. Eat. It opens up the secret little hideaway. Nothing back here. Nothing that was really worth our time. Grab the rock. Ricksters everywhere, comes and goes. Ha ha ha. There are four corners to everything, or four sides to everything. The actual solution is this. What is wrong with me? Boots of protection are much better on you. Balmer's shoes. Go down to the wizard. Get throw the moccasins here. And now we press the button. I need to review the footage and figure out where the shuriken were. I don't want to be without them. That opens up the doorway here. This gives the cheese, which I'm almost 100% certain grants stat bonuses to the ratlings if they're the ones that consume it. I didn't see anything change. Wait, no. Hang on. Hold up. Hold up. Rock to rat. Rattling cheese. Okay, so I actually kind of messed up. I didn't actually know this, but if you give horned fruit to insectoids, they will be perfectly happy and content and gain stat bonuses as well. Ratlings need to eat cheese specifically. Minotaurs and humans don't have anything of that sort, and lizardmen gain bonuses from eating turtle eggs. All right, that was my mistake. I should have researched that a little bit beforehand. I knew about the rattlings and cheese, but I didn't know about the horned fruit and lizards. Or horned fruit and the insectoids. That becomes a lot more important if I can gain a bunch of random stat benefits. From the, basically the only thing I'm doing is just eating stuff. I am doing is just eating stuff. Do I? And I mean this, do I really wish to try to tempt fate and fight the guys before me? If I remember correctly, these guys have insane damage reduction. Uh, the group of enemies that I'd fight have almost insane damage resistance. And I don't have the shuriken, which might help me get over that. Because one pops from here, one pops over from here, and one from here. There's three of them, and I have to kill them all. And when I discovered this secret entirely by accident, I was incredibly overleveled, and I killed very quickly. I don't 
think I ever actually need the Horn of Summoning ever again. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna try to save the game over post-boss fight. We haven't really done anything major, except eat a piece of cheese on the character that was supposed to eat the piece of cheese. The horned fruit went to the wronged character, but ah well, the farmer is not going to need it. I don't think. Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. I saw how little damage that dealt. No. No. Now is not the time for another boss fight. So. Three farmers, one alchemist. Not the best run. I almost feel like I want to go back to grab those shurikens purely because they deal a little microscopic amount of more damage. Like, I personally don't even think it's worth going all the way back there. But at the same time, I also feel like it's probably the only chance I'm going to get. Come on. Come on, little birdie. No, don't you run away. Don't you run away, birdie. Birdie. Thank you. <sighs> all right, birdie. You're all birdie to me. Okay. Thank you. There's five of you here. Do you want to know how much I don't want to deal with five of you? Ocean. Alright, I knew you were going to come around at any point in time. At any singular moment, you were going to come over here just to try and hit me. But we escaped. I really want to go back just to find the shuriken. I'm I I know I missed it somewhere. And to me, it it a weapon upgrade, no matter how minor, is just too necessary for me to just say, eh, I could do without it. Because these farmers, they're not getting better. No matter how much I train them, they're just not getting better. They still suck. And I need to fix them, or we're going to die. But you know what I say to that? Back down into the dungeon we go. Maybe we'll get something, maybe we won't. But all I know is we need to get out of this nightmare. Please. Backtracking. Let's try to find what I missed. Torch back on. Take a look. In here. No, it's not in here. Is it over here? Did I just miss it right next to my feet? No. Checked the food area, so I'm going to guess it's nearby the turtle somewhere. Don't mind me, I'm actually going to run back here, just auto-save to do a full restore of my party and see if this crashes. Okay, we're good. There it is. 
There we go, we have the weapon upgrade again. Now we'll save. Game save. Like, it's two points more of minimum damage, but the sheer amount of times we hit for, like, five, the sheer amount of times we hit for minimum, I think just justifies me being properly paranoid about trying not to have that happen. And since we've cleared most of the enemies, I think we're free to explore this area with impunity. Now, there are multiple reasons we could... Oh, hey. I wonder what the official Grimrock title for these things is. It's just genuine curiosity. Okay, I'm going to admit the only reason I'm going down here is I want to pick up the food that's under that is under the water. And that there really is no easy way to do that beyond just jumping down repeatedly and picking stuff back up again. Now, what are the odds of it copying Black Moss? One in five? back up. Splash down again. Walk over to grab the ether weed. Nothing else worth grabbing down here. Head back up. Because everyone's about to start drowning. Shrine of Pain. Gets us stabbed repeatedly if we're unlucky. and requires us to be fast on our feet. And I really want it to be daytime because it is so hard to see underwater when it is not daytime. It's not even funny. Like, because if I'm not careful, being underwater is the quickest way to die because there's usually some form of enemy down there. Now, the nice thing about this is that no matter where you are in Grimrock, there's always a way out of any situation, except if there's an enemy that's directly beneath me now. People will start drowning. Hey, free fish. Don't knock it till you try it. And lizard on a stick, because you know what, why not? I could have sworn that there was a way forward. Through the waves. Is there anywhere around here that is a ladder? None that I can see. I don't want to get caught by a turtle, because we have none of the weapons that can be used underwater yet. Yes. So, a while back, I actually made reference to the fact that there's something weird about underwater combat. Well, to explain, there are a lot of weapons that, simply by virtue of being slow and cumbersome, can't be used underwater. It's a rather silly system, because I can still swing a sword. It might not be as effective underwater, but you can still swing something underwater with enough force to do some damage. As such, there's, an, there's no end to problems caused by merely trying to fight underwater until we start getting some of these weapons. Of which... 
I think we're actually supposed to get one soon in the logical, like, the logical progression of things, which my first run-through didn't follow because Grimrock being so open-world, it's really easy to do something you're not supposed to. So much ether weed. So little time. Spunty the first skull. That's right, there's the bow and the broadhead arrows. Which that area and thing is entirely worthless to me. His crystal, slap. Alright, we're good. Come on. Keep coming, doggos. I gotta cut you up. I'm hungry. You're the only things around here that have food for me. Even though I've got so much food, it could last forever. Food becomes incredibly scarce in Grimrock after the first couple of levels. Like, you would not believe how hard it is to find food by the end of Grimrock. That door remains open permanently. If I remember rightly, there was actually a button right here that opened this up, which gave me the logical progression forward. And by logical progression, I mean this actually gave me a few items that I'd missed out previously for almost the entire run. Were it not for the fact that this thing is locked, because the game hates me, and doesn't like giving me lockpicks. <sighs> and no, there is no source of infinite lockpicks. There are enough lockpicks for all the chests in the game, but you're not guaranteed to find all the lockpicks. In fact, I think there's a lockpick in the river. Is there? No, I'm just making stuff up. You know, that's just made up. I don't actually remember if there's a lockpick in the river. There is a secret with these walls. But I don't really want to touch it just yet. There's a button on one of these walls somewhere. I think it's on the outer edges. However, it's time for us to make our first bout of progress. This should be fire. If I remember correctly. What happens if we put it in the wrong one? Nothing. It doesn't actually tell you. It was fire burst again. Poison cloud. That's shock. That's fire burst. So that's not fire. This is fire. Small light source, never gets removed. It's technically progress. Let's get it out of our inventory. A lot of horrid mem- Yep. Yeah, I remember that thing. That was a boss not even a little while ago. Yeah, it, it's been degraded to regular enemy. don't want to get caught out here. I'd rather be out here when fighting this guy, simply because it's a lot safer. Fight this vine-like creature out here. It gives me enough space to hopefully outmaneuver the wolf. Come on, wolves. Alright. I 
I wasn't aware that they could go through the stone. I was always thinking that the stone was a... basically a safe spot. Funny thing. Oh god, no. Not the poison bolts. Get out of the way! Thank you. How kind. No, there's another one coming. Look, can you die already? You've already taken so much of my ammunition. Alright, pistol time. I don't know why I say like... I say pistol time as if it's actually something relevant. My combat abilities? No, it's not. This thing's just blocking my every single thing I can do. And forcing me to fight it in ways I really don't feel like fighting it. A blood drop cap. Um you guys aren't using up your energy enough because we don't have any energy spamming abilities. That dart just went underwater. Remember how I say never fire a dart when facing the water, because then you'll have to go and get it back? Yeah, I should follow my own advice. Alright, one of these is going to drop dead any minute now. There we go. Alright, and then this will... If I step over here... Give me a Warhammer, which is an amazing heavy weapon upgrade. If I actually had a heavy weapon to use. Smoked Salmon to upgrade myself. Pistol Bullets, even though those are useless underwater. And then this should be a button. There should be a button I can flip. Which grants me permanent access to a shortcut that takes me to and from the sides of the river. And the only reason I need to go over there is to gain access to another buff. That is a unique wand which can be picked up in multiple ways. However, I'm not going to go and try to grab them just yet. There's some lockpicks. Leather gloves, which will be equipped to our main frontline fighter because we need whatever protection we can possibly get our hands on. Almost certain there should be a button I can hit on this wall, but you know me. Almost certain means nothing nowadays. We have our lockpick. I don't have any idea what it could possibly be, possibly be used on. I'm going to head on over here and just unlock this chest right now. Firebombs, and the Rogue Hood. Grants protection and dexterity, which boosts evasion, which basically makes the Reed Helmet the next best in-slot item. Or one off of a Minotaur. Even though it drops your evasion to negative two, the boost in protection is a beautiful thing that we can negate somewhat. All right, there is so much warg meat, I'm actually going to, even though it's kind of a waste nutrition-wise, I'm just going to force these two guys to level up right now. I so should equip heavy weapons. 
But at the same time, they're missing so much, I probably should get accuracy just so they can be useful in combat. Well, yeah, because you don't have the accuracy. Well, you're doing fine, air quotes, without the accuracy buff. So I might give you light weapons just to increase your damage even higher because it's taking so long to kill things. Well, no, your damage doesn't need a boost. It doesn't. The accuracy is the problem. Or I can actually get the armor buff so we can actually change out everyone's equipment in the front line to be light armor so I can stop complaining about my front lines dying so much. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, because there are some fights that are going to be coming up in the future. Yeah, I need armor. All right. So, you, with your light weapons, being able to actually hit fairly often is good enough. I would love to give you heavy weapons just so you can stop using Skull Klee and instead pull off, pull out the Warhammer because it is such a powerful weapon to get this early on. However, I'm going to also force you to grab armor. So everyone's protection stat increases by a very minor amount, and we are one step closer to having everyone equipped with light armor. Who needs it? The cache has a bunch of supplies that are incredibly helpful to use, but it's also filled to the brim with rats. And no, it ain't just any rat. No, it's, uh... It's a bunch of pistoliers. Wait, did you follow me? You shot me. No, 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 no. That's your... F I can rest it off. We've learned this in the past. Health is maintained between levels. So I'm literally just going to be abusing the fact that the level transitions means I can't be attacked. They're doing slightly less. So as it currently stands, I can tank in air quotes. All right. Yeah, this is a swarm of rats I don't want to deal with. Make your choice. Yep, there's the swarm of rats. Oh boy, another annoying enemy type. Don't want to step into the swarm of rats. I want to hit you. I want to kill you. Rattling Gunner, please. Zarok, you have been shot an innumerable number of times. Hope you enjoy. Uh, do we have another torch? We do have another torch. All right. <sighs> Thank you. He's finally down. 
We have the gold key. Yeah, you gotta kill these guys with melee. Alright. Well, that was painful. What's over here? Conjurer has spellcasting, has the robes. They're helpful. These are basically just a bunch of starting supplies. Although, I'm of the opinion that a lot of these are traps. The Thieves' Cache is one of those that are worth it. The Paladin's Cache is not worth it, especially not in this group. They have an indeed Alberta. No idea what that is. Snake Charmer's Cache gives the rope, a poison spell, and the bracelet. I think there's one more golden key that can be picked up somewhere. Right, this gives us an orb. <sighs> Choice. The rope and snake charmer's outfits available later. The lock picks are not. The orb requires two concentration to use, which are not guaranteed to get next level, because next level we're going to get fire magic, so I can actually use a spell, the wizard. So yeah. Eve's cash it is. Literally just to get two lockpicks so we can unlock some more chests to get more loot. Might not be the greatest choice, but we'll deal with it. 